Greetings. We continue with our series of communication systems as found on an aircraft. In our last video, we looked at VHF communication system. We later looked at HF communication system. And finally, our most recent video, we looked at cabin interphone system and passenger address system. If you haven't watched any of these videos, you can find the link to this video in the description below. In this video today, we look at cockpit voice recorder. Welcome and enjoy the video. A cockpit voice recorder is used to record the conversation in the flight deck between the flight crew. This conversation is important as it enables investigators after a crash or an irregularity to tell what events took place in the cockpit just before the irregularity was committed or just before the accident. The cockpit voice recorder is installed or is located near the tail area. As you can see in this picture, this is the location where the cockpit voice recorder are installed on most aircraft. The reason for this is because after accidents, aircraft don't sustain a lot of damages on this area. So the probability of uh, getting the cockpit voice recorder intact after an accident is high, unlike if it was installed on other areas of the aircraft. As you can see in these following pictures, the tail of the aircraft is not really damaged and as you can see from the picture, it will be much easier to get the cockpit voice recorder unlike it was located in this location. The same with this bottom picture, you can see the tail is not really damaged or is not damaged as other parts of the aircraft. So this is the main reason why the cockpit voice recorder is installed at the aft side of the aircraft. The cockpit voice recorder is colored bright orange and this is to enable it to be spotted easily during such a rescue mission. You can see in this picture here we have a cockpit voice recorder and a flight data recorder. Uh, in this aircraft they are installed next adjacent to each other in the tail section of the aircraft. This is the cockpit voice recorder and this is the flight data recorder. You can see the cockpit and the flight data recorder are both colored bright orange. The cockpit voice recorder has a panel in the cockpit that enables the testing of the CVR and also enables the crew to erase a portion of the recording in the, in the cockpit provided some requirements are met in order for it to erase. As you can see here in this picture, we have two panels for different aircraft. The top one has the test facility, has the erase facility, and has a port where a headset can be connected in order to test if the CVR is operating properly. We also have this meter here that show that the CVR is working properly. If the arrow does not move during the test, it means the CVR is faulty. Here we have a provision for an area microphone on some aircraft. Some other aircraft, this microphone is installed in the overhead panel, but in most aircraft, this uh, microphone is installed on this panel, like in this bottom picture. This is the area microphone that is used to record the cockpit area. The cockpit voice recorder has four channels. The first channel is the captain microphone, the second channel is the copilot microphone, the third channel is the observer microphone, and the fourth channel is the area microphone. These microphones are always on whenever the aircraft is powered, and for this reason they are called hot mics. There is no provision to switch them off during operation of an aircraft. The minimum recording duration of a cockpit voice recorder is at least 30 minutes. Different voice recorders have different recording time, but a minimum of 30 minutes is a requirement for a cockpit voice recorder. An old aircraft or an old model of cockpit voice recorder, an endless tape cassette was used as a storage means for the recording, for the information being recorded by the CVR. New CVR that are digital uses a solid state type of memory, which is a non-volatile memory to record the information required to be recorded by the cockpit voice recorder. In new CVR, a high quality recording is provided for 30 minutes. 
and uh, an additional standard quality recording for a duration of 120 minutes is provided on new CVR. The new CVR has a crushed hardened casing that enables them to withstand impact that can be experienced during an accident. The new CVR can sustain an acceleration of 3,400 Gs. It can also withstand a force of 5,000 pounds. The new CVR can also withstand immersion pressure and water of up to 20,000 feet. In terms of temperature, the CVR can withstand a temperature of 1100 degrees centigrade for a period of 30 minutes before sustaining damage to the information or to the content of the cockpit voice recorder. In this picture here, we see a block diagram that provides the functionality of a cockpit voice recorder. We have the panel that is located in the cockpit, as I've explained, with the test facility and the race facility. For the erase function to work, the aircraft has to be on ground and the parking brake has to be on in order for it to erase. This prevents a scenario where the crew can delete or can erase a recording during flight. This is the provision for the microphone. Remember from the panels that we saw, we saw that there is a provision here for an area microphone on some aircraft. On some other aircraft, the microphone is fitted in the overhead panel. This is the voice recorder located at the aft compartment of the aircraft with the three channels. That is the captain's first officer, the observer, with the fourth, the fourth channel being the flight compartment uh, microphone or the cockpit area microphone. This is the different signals between the cockpit voice recorder panel and the voice recorder itself. Next, we're going to see at what is called an ULD or ULB, underwater locator device or underwater locator beacon. The underwater locator beacon, as you can see in these pictures here, is installed here at the face of the FDR and the CVR. The underwater locator beacon enables transmission of pulse, pulses also called pings, to investigators or to search and rescue team during search and rescue to enable them to easily locate the location of the CVR. These pings are sent every second and it can last for a period of 30 days. These pings or these pulses can be sent from a depth of 14,000 feet from under the waters. The underwater locator beacon is triggered by the immersion, by the water immersion signal. As soon as the cockpit voice recorder is immersed in water after an accident, for example, this immersion in water will trigger the ULB to start sending the pulses and these pulses will be used uh, by the search and rescue to locate where the cockpit voice recorder is. The underwater locator beacon has an inbuilt battery and this battery is replaced every six years. This is what we had for you in this video today. Remember if you haven't subscribed to the channel we humbly and kindly request you to subscribe to the channel. You can also share the links to these videos and to the channel to your networks and your friends and even on your social media page to enable us to reach more people and to increase our engagement. We appreciate your feedback and as usual if you have any suggestion, if you have any feedback you can put it in the comment section and this will enable us to improve on the areas we need to improve in order to make the channel better for you. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We'll see you in our next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you.